Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click. In this video, I'm going to make you familiar with a new data connection option known as Direct Query. This will be a two-part series, with the first part providing a brief overview, setup, and operation of how it all works, and the second part showing how this would work along with Click's in-memory analytics engine, providing more analytics functionality with a hybrid solution. Let's get started. What is Direct Query? Direct Query is a new capability in ClickSense SaaS, part of the ClickCloud platform, that enables analytics apps to generate SQL queries directly against cloud databases as the user interacts with data through visualizations and dynamic filtering. What data sources support it? Currently, as of the recording of this video, it is only available with Snowflake Data Connections with future plans for Databricks next. Who should use it? Organizations that currently use Snowflake and have a need to query across massive data sets, such as those for fraud detection or IoT anomalies, or for near real-time use cases like warehouse operations and fleet vehicle management. It is also good for initially exploring use cases that require direct SQL pushdown versus applications that can leverage the Click Engine and therefore more intelligently manage compute costs. So where does Direct Query fit when compared to the Click Analytics Engine? The Click Analytics Engine is purpose-built for interactive analysis. It delivers an unmatched combination of speed and flexibility that you simply cannot get with query-based tools. This full analytics spectrum graphic gives you a good idea of the benefit comparisons, including where ClickSense features like dynamic views and on-demand generation fit, in between the Analytics Engine and Direct Query. Now that you have a brief understanding of what Direct Query is, I'm going to go into a live product demonstration and configuration. Okay, so I'm ready to add my Direct Query connection. So a couple things to note. I have a completed app that we're going to use for demonstration. I have my Snowflake environment up and running so I could manipulate the data and show you the queries in real time. And then I've created a new app in the Click Cloud platform just to show you how you add the data connection. It's important to note that the direct query data connection for Snowflake in this example can only be added through this data manager interface. So when you create your connection or you select your connection from this UI, you'll have an option in the upper right to go to Direct Query. So understand that the traditional approach of adding data into the Click Analytics Engine is from what you see here when selecting the connection, but to go to Direct Query, you must choose this menu option and choose Go to Direct Query. Now this will provide you with the user interface for Direct Query. Now I'm already connected to Snowflake, so I'm gonna choose my role, my database, and my schema. Upon doing so, you see the tables that are available to me. I'm going to choose customer and orders. Now understand if you require any data manipulation or transformation at this point with this release, it's important that you would do that at the Snowflake view level. Now I'm going to select my fields. In this case, I'm actually going to uncheck a few fields that I don't need for this example. I'm going to do the same for orders. and then click Next. Now this is going to allow me to add a relationship between these two tables. And both tables have a key called email. So we're going to add a relationship for orders and for customers. And we can choose the type of join. In this case, we're just going to do a full outer join. And here I'm going to choose my field of email and then click Create. Okay, so at this point we're done. You could add more tables. If you wanted to add a field, for example, in Snowflake, for example, alter table or insert a column, you would have to go back into this edit mode and it would requery the data source and provide that field and then you'd have to choose that field. So just be aware of that. If you make any changes on the Snowflake side, you'll have to go back into this model, click Edit, to make sure those changes come in. So now I'm just going to click Apply Changes. 
Upon doing so, that basically inserts into the data load editor. So we're going to jump into this so we can show you the live connect and the import live statement. Okay, so much different than the traditional approach of inserting the load script. So now I just can go to my sheet and I can begin creating my analytics. Okay, so at this point, I would begin creating my app. Now, a couple other things to understand is because now since we're doing SQL pushdown, you're going to be using the function library of the underlying data source. Uh, we support the uh, major five uh, aggregations, sum, min, max, average, and count as of the recording of this video. And then there are a number of subset functions that you can use um, to manipulate the fields, but those have to be added as measures within your particular chart objects. Uh, there will be a sample app available to you could refer to. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to move over into the completed app. And you're going to see here that I have uh, order IDs, I have countries, I have sales, number of orders, etc. So the first thing before actually performing any uh, insertion of data, all I'm going to do is just choose record 1554. And what you're going to see is the data is going to change. And this is actually performing a real time push down to Snowflake. So now if I go to my worksheet, I go to history and we look at the refresh of the log and I hover over the SQL text, you'll see inside the query statement, record number 1554. Okay, so with every selection that occurs in this case here, we're performing that push down. So near real time or you know real time data access is occurring under the covers. I'll repeat that again with uh, records 107, uh, 1007 and 1008. Refresh our history, 